Hello everyone, I'm Yang Jiang from Electrochemical Science and Engineering Group in Imperial College London. Today, I'm going to talk about our recent work on modeling the electrochemical behaviors of silicon electrodes during cycling. This model unveils some unique behaviors of this kind of material, and hopefully, it can be a necessary tool for future design and development of higher energy density, longer life, silicon based lithium batteries. I'll begin with the background first. As we know, silicon has been an attractive alternative to you know, graphite as an anode material in lithium batteries due to its low cost and exceedingly high theoretical specific capacity, which is uh, over 10 times the value for graphite. Well, silicon is a kind of low material which shows very different behaviors uh, compared to the conventional intercalation material graphite. It is widely reported that the volumes of silicon electrodes are highly dependent on its lithium depth. As you can see in this figure, when silicon electrodes are lithium to above 0.05 volts, it gives uh, sloping shaft curves in both uh, lithium and delithium branch. While when it is highly lithium to below this voltage, there is a flat volume plateau observed in the delithium branch. These irreversible processes have been demonstrated experimentally to be correlated to a kind of uh, crystalline Li silicon phase. The crystalline Li silicon phase, that is the uh, Li 15 silicon 4 phase, will disappear very abruptly at the end of the fission process when silicon electrodes are highly lithium to below 0.05 volts. While in the reverse process, this crystalline phase disappears linearly with time growing. These strange behaviors stimulated our great interest. Why different lithium depth results in very distinct electrochemical behaviors of silicon? And what is the role of the crystalline the silicon phase plays on these behaviors? In order to answer these questions, it is important to firstly identify the reaction pathways of silicon. Previous models mostly focus on these two electrochemical reactions, that is the uh, step 1 and step 2, which can be translated by the button of volmer equation shown here. But the mechanisms of the crystallization process from this amorphous phase to its crystalline phase and the amorphization process from this crystalline phase to the intermediate amorphous phase are unclear. In this study, in order to model the amorphization process uh, B step B2, uh, we observed that this process follows a peeling off mechanism uh, with a very distinct uh, phase boundary shown in this figure. And compared uh, with uh, energy change through step B2, step 2, um, in step B2, the crystalline phase is believed to uh, first uh, overcome an extra energy barrier before transforming to the intermediate amorphous silicon desilicon phase because the crystal should have a higher energy bound bonding energy. This uh, will result in an elevated uh, you know, equilibrium uh, potential showing in this equation, and uh, which can be uh, re reflected by the E star here. And in order to model the crystallization process, that is a red pathway shown in this figure, we, uh, because we know that uh, this process happens very abruptly, so it is a uh, homogeneous uh, crystallization process and the uh, homo classical you know homogeneous crystallization theory points out uh, that the bulk phase alpha should first uh, form a critical state via the nucleation site n and then the crystalline phase beta can grow based on this uh, nucleation site n in a word this process not only needs a proper you know, potential but also some nucleation sites. 
Here we assumed that uh, the amorphous uh, leaf 15 silicon 4 phase will firstly form a kind of a critical a super load phase here and to provide the nucleation sites. And the kinetic equation shown proposed here uh, shows that the crystal crystallization rate is not only proportional to the amount of uh, crystalline phase but also to the amount of uh, nucleation sites. Based on this newly developed model, we successfully reproduced the volicles of silicon at different uh, different depths uh, in figure A and figure B. And the simulation results are visibly consistent with the uh, experimental data. And we successfully reproduce the abrupt growth of a uh, leaf 15 uh, C silicon 4 phase, crystalline phase and its a gradual disappearance in the reverse process. And if we put the vault curves in a single plot, you can find the voltage will jump and a flat volley plateau is observed in the D deflation branch if we highly discharge the cell. And this model can also trace the variations of different silicon species during cycling. We also cycle the cell uh, between different voltage limits and it shows that if the cell is discharged to below 0.05 volts, in this case study, the crystalline phase occurs and this crystalline phase leads to you know, overcome an extra energy barrier to break the bonding energy. Thus, it will change the shape of the voltage curve in the d deficient volt branch. We also study the effect of uh, crystallization rate on the crystal growth curve here. It shows that higher rate constant gives rise to an earlier appearance of a crystalline phase. Another interesting finding is that when we increase the energy barrier in a morphization process in figure C and D, a more distinct voltage plateau is observed. And if we look at the differential volt curves in figure D, we could see the initial two characteristic volt peaks will merge into only one peak with growing E star. Based on this newly developed model, we provide a new insight to translate the unique behaviors of silicon electrodes and the processes of different phase transformations, crystallization, and amorphization processes underlying the electrode behaviors are resolved in this single model. And we successfully you know, reproduce the voltage curves of silicon at different deficient depth and the path-dependent voltage hysteresis is observed. And this model can retrieve the abrupt growth of crystalline D15 silicon 4 phase in deflation and its gradual disappearance in the D deflation process. And we have built a linkage between the multi state reaction processes and the electrochemical performance of silicon. And you can learn more details by, uh, by looking at uh, our recent publications on the Journal of Electrochemical Society. Thank you very much for your attention, and if you have any questions or comments, uh, please be free to join the Q&A panel on April 26, and you can also submit your questions for the panel via one of these uh, platforms.